So this is going to be probably about part three of your the Tenacon series. But what you can do with this is we're going to do a knot now, uh, one of two. So it's going to be the FG knot first, and then we're going to do a PR knot in a separate video that you guys can watch. This is going to be for attaching your braided mainline onto your nylon leader or to your braided leader. So for you, we've got your 100 pound uh, J-braid on the reel, you see that in a sec, and we're going to put our Fathom 1.3 mil on top of that, that's 60 kilos, that's more than enough. So, you guys are going to struggle to hear me a little bit, but uh, what we first have to do is you've got to put a bit of tension onto the line, that's the first thing. Your, your, for the FG, one of the main things you've got to look about is tension. You've got to keep that nice and stiff like that. So, I'm going to have my leader in my right hand, I'm going to have your, the braided main line in my teeth so I can keep tension on that. And I slowly want to release the tension as I work, but you've got to keep tension on it so you're not, not dropping at all. So, you're going to struggle to hear me, but we're going to try and do this as best we can. So first, you're going to hold on with your teeth, put a bit of tension onto your leader like that, put it against the braid, you're going to hold it against the braid like that, and we're going to loop under there and under here. And we'll just watch slowly as it comes nice and tight. So, nice and tight, underneath, and you're going to click it like it. Underneath, and you're going to click it. So as you click like it, this keeps a nice and tension and lies the, the, the braid nice and level like it. And we're going to do that, I'm going to go nice and slow, and you go for about, let's say about an inch, about three centimeters thereabout, and then we'll show you how to finish it off. So just keep a nice, nice eye on this. It's a very, very easy knot to do. Just got to practice it. So, we just repeat now. So you hold, you go underneath again, click, underneath, click, underneath, click. And you just keep working your way up. What you do want to see is the line crossing. What you do want to see is the line crossing all the way along like that. You don't want it bunching up on top of itself. So, and we just keep working our way up. Keeping a bit of tension on here, like that, and tension with your teeth. We just work our way up. And you see my head going down as we work? That's releasing a little bit of the tension as we go. And you see it's an absolutely beautiful knot. Now there's no need to do more than about that. But we're going to do just a little bit more just for, for the television's sake. Okay, so now you've got your beautiful knot going along like that. You can see it's crossing over so nice, actually very, very nice knot to look at. Now to finish it off, it works on something called the Chinese finger trap. So as you pull harder, it actually tightens. So the more you pull in that direction, like direction that, the more it's going to tighten onto itself. All you got to do, is now some half hitch knots. Now, half hitch is just a fancy name for granny knot. You're gonna go over, like that, like that, and you come back through that loop. And you're gonna tighten that up onto there, like that. Now, this is when you pull and to test that the, the knot is very strong. So, we're gonna wrap it around. Be careful, you do get cut doing this if you're not, not following, like that. And we're just going to pull it until it tightens nicely. And you can see I'm pulling very, very hard on that. And the braid just bites into itself the whole way along. Or bites into itself and into the nylon. So, now just to make it look neat, because that knot will function perfectly like that, we're just going to do a few more half hitches onto that like that. I like doing quite a few on here just to make it look nice. But we're running out of tag in because someone didn't uh, didn't prepare properly for this. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going. We'll do about four on there. Four on there like that. Then we're going to cut. We're going to cut that tag end off. We're going to grab a pair of scissors. And then cut this guy off nice and, and flush. That there like that. Then you're going to do a few more half hitches just onto the braid itself putting like that remember just to lock them in place nicely that 
Then we're going to finish off with a uni knot, but not instead of looping over itself and back through so it pulls that way, we're going to loop it just through there, like basically a half hitch, but going through a few times. And then that's going to pull onto itself like that. So that keeps the knot butted up against like that, so you don't get it loosening that way. So, very, very easy. Put your finger there just to open the loop up. And then we're just going to go through, I like going about five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you just pull it, it's in a bunch up, so you want to do something called a risotto. That's where you put your finger in, and you're going to loop it, unwind itself backwards. So you see how the knot unwinds and goes, just to form one loop at the end. And now when we pull this tag end, that loop just disappears into itself there. Now that is nice and tight. Trim that off. Now what we do do is burn that with a lighter if we want to, but for the aspect here, we'll just show you guys nice and close. There are your little half hitches that twirl around like that. Your little tag ends nice and flush. And then there's your risotto finished uni knot over there. So that now, that pulls, that pulls the knot this way, and this pulls the knot that way. So everything pulls against each other. Your knot stays nice and strong. Doesn't ever have to worry about coming loose. You can burn a lighter on that just to, to finish it off, but just be careful you don't actually burn the line. So keep your fingers right next to it. When your fingers, if your fingers are burning, the braid's burning. And then that's it there. We do about 15 meters and your, your leader is good to go. So the big benefit about the FG, tightens its way down as you go, as you pull harder. So the harder you pull, the harder the knot's gonna tighten down. And yeah, that can be used for your braid mainline to braid leader. It's just a little bit more tricky because the braid's soft. With mono, it's very, very easy. Or, as you said, braid to mono works very well. So that's the same principle works across. It's not just for deep dropping reels, you can use it in anything. So there we go guys, the FG knot. Uh, we can't actually say what, it, uh, what FG stands for, but just say frigging good. The Aussies came up with it, so you can imagine. Uh, so yeah, FG.